Okay, uh, welcome to my video. Today I'm going to be showing you how I painted this drawing right here. Um, so first of all, I ate my sandwich because I can't draw on an empty stomach. Uh, so I did that, I ate my sandwich, and then I got right to Pinterest. I found this reference photo that I really liked, um, and then I got to work pretty much. So basically, when I started this drawing, I started with a blue colored pencil. This is a uh, Fabricastel Polychromos. Um, and basically, I didn't want to use graphite because it just makes it muddy and then you have to deal with erasing and stuff so I trusted myself enough to just do the sketch right in colored pencil without really erasing um, I'm keeping this really loose you can see how far back I'm holding the pencil just to make sure my marks aren't super dark and I can kind of change things along the way because it's just a little bit looser and at this point now I'm switching over to some other colors um, but I'm still keeping it really loose. You could still see I'm that grip is still really far back and I'm pressing really lightly Just kind of trying to see where I want my colors to go and the kind of tones that I like um, So I was working with this kind of like ochre yellow this peach color and pretty soon like a Greenish teal color there. It is that's gonna come into play as well. So those are kind of my main Colors for this drawing um, and at this point at the drawing. I wasn't really sure what I wanted it to turn out like um, which is why I was pretty timidly coloring it at this point. Um, but uh, I don't know, I feel like that was fine. Uh, but this is when I start to kind of get bored and I want to just start making marks that have a little bit more of an impact and significance. So I went really dark in on that nose uh, because I knew I kind of wanted that color concentrated there. Um, I saw a lot of that red in the reference photo and I kind of wanted to highlight that. Whenever I have a really strong, like powerful color in a drawing, I always really like to kind of slap it back a little bit with a complementary color that's a little bit more muted, which is why I'm utilizing this, um, that kind of like silvery whitish green color. I don't know how to describe it other than that, but um, yeah, that's kind of helping me balance the tone so it doesn't get overwhelmingly warm and red and peachy. Um, it really kind of adds a nice contrast. Um, to the face um, so I was trying to work with that color palette um, and I definitely struggled I think at first and just the more as I lay down colors the easier it got I feel like um, but yeah that's pretty much my process for that I mean unfortunately this camera angle is <laughs> just really not good but um, it's about to switch up in a second you guys can kind of get a better look um, at what I'm doing um, so yeah, at this point, not a lot is changing in terms of my process. I pretty much darken the areas that I want to be darker, and then I go back and kind of pull out from there and take away some of the whites that are left over in the face. So I saturate some colors more, put down some lighter hues and values, um, like the greens that I keep going down, or some yellows, see like that. I um, come out from the shadow, and then start to pick away at those white spaces. And that's pretty much how I use... Um, colored pencils when I'm working on a like a white surface um, I think I usually like layer 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 until I get to my darkest and then from there you can kind of branch out more and saturate your midtones more and yeah I mean I, I there's definitely people that are able to kind of like kick it right from the beginning and slap on that saturated color like right from the start that's just not me I tend to like to layer more and get more different colors by putting them on top of each other and stuff like that so that's kind of the way I worked for this drawing. Um, and then at this point, I was pretty satisfied with the face, so I move on to like laying down some tones in the fingers, and I honestly, like I just couldn't imagine myself finishing this drawing with the colored pencils. Like it would just take too much out of me to render it, honestly. So I ended up switching over to gouache, which if you don't know, is pretty much like a hybrid between acrylic and watercolor. So I start to put that in my palette, whatever. Um, and I don't know why, I swear to you guys, I thought I filmed this part of the drawing, but I didn't. So in a second, it's about to look like I finished it, um, which, you know what, I'm sorry, but <laughs> I apologize. Um, here's like a little clip from my TikTok, you can kind of see what I was doing. Um, I put it in slow-mo so you guys could really see it. But basically what happened was I took my blue gouache and I put it like all over the bottom really loosely and like just big brush strokes just to kind of get it abstract and I took really thick gouache and I put that background in that like creamy greenish yellow uh, just because the white of the page was really bothering me uh, and then I put some peaches and some yellows and just like a variety of colors even some blues in the shadows of the hands um, and I also did some color pencils on the red shirt and then I ended up doing gouache for the bottom of it as it kind of faded out so I laid in those colors really quick. Like it, 
I feel like it was equivalent, like the amount of time I spent with the gouache to like the face. Like it didn't take very long just because I was able to work with a big brush and just slap all that color down. Um, but I was just really impatient with the color pencils. I just lost my mind. So I had to stop. And then basically I, once I do gouache, I do like to kind of go back on top of it with colored pencil because I don't have the nicest gouache. Like honestly, I don't think I really recommend the gouache that I use, even though it's kind of like, I don't know, it's gotten to me, gotten me to where I am today, right? But it's not the best. So I like to saturate the colors I've laid down with more colored pencils, kind of adding a little bit more contrast to some of the colors I've laid down. Um, so that's what I'm doing right now. I feel like layering has just always been my go-to technique. I feel like it it always works, you know? Like, oh, it didn't work the first time, so I'll add a little more, and then I'll see if I like it. And then you kind of, like, build. I like to build, you know? I feel like that's a good way to work. Um, so in these areas, I really just wanted some of these shadows to pop out more, just because I felt like things were getting lost at the bottom of the page. Um, and I wanted it to feel a little bit more abstract, a little bit more blocky, um... So I'm kind of darkening where things kind of intersect and weird kind of like bubbles and things like that. I don't really know if that makes sense, but I'm trying to create more shape down there just to give it a little bit more interest, make it look a little bit more clean, more intentional um, instead of it being a little bit messy, which I guess technically tends to be my brand, I guess, but that's whatever. Who cares? Um, and then after I was kind of satisfied with the blues at the bottom and some of the saturation, I went back in with my white paint. Uh, because there was just a lot of muddiness and I wanted the white spaces to really be crisp and pop out. Um, in all honesty, like the hands are so muddy, like the shape of them, I think is fine. Like obviously they're not proportional or whatever. Like they kind of look messed up, like broken, like that thumb literally looks like it's in three different pieces, but whatever that doesn't, <laughs> it's not important. Um, but basically, I wish I did a little bit more with the hands because I think they look really muddy and then I just put white on top of it and it made it a lot worse. But um, with this white, I'm just kind of, like I was doing with the blue colored pencils on top of the blue gouache, like I'm just trying to create more shape, give things a little bit more significance, a little bit more intention, uh, make it look like I didn't just slap down a bunch of blue gouache, which is what I did. Um, but I'm trying to make it a little bit more like you couldn't tell I was lazy, you know? Um, I don't know, that's, that's so stupid, but here's me, I don't know, I'm getting white paint, I couldn't even tell you guys, I, <laughs> I don't know, what am I supposed to, alright, alright, we're just gonna wait until I'm back, oh, okay, wait, here's what's happening next, I f also forgot to film, no, I didn't, okay, this is it, this is so satisfying, watch this, look at that, isn't that, oh, okay, I just, that makes me just, I love it. <laughs> That was like the best part of the whole drawing. I feel like the whole time I was really just waiting to do something like that. And I didn't get to until the end, which is probably why I lost my patience with the colored pencils. Cause I just wanted to do something like this. Um, if you were wondering, it's, it says no more in the back. I don't know why I have no idea. I was just like, I'm going to write something back here. Um, and it ended up being that I feel like people are like, Ooh, what does it mean? It means absolutely nothing. Like literally nothing. Um, I just like the way the red looks. I like contrasting colors, orange, blues, reds. Like I really just wanted something that would like slap the drawing in the face. And so I, that's what I did. Um, so it took me a little while, but it was so like, oh, it's like so therapeutic when you can like add really clean shapes on top of something that's already drawn. I don't know. There's something about it. Like it just gets me like, I love it. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's what I'm doing. I mean, do you guys care about all this painting letters? I don't know. Maybe it's really satisfying. Maybe you're like, maybe you're loving this right now. Who knows? Um, I'm bored. Like, I'm whatever. Maybe I'll stop. Okay. Um, never mind. We are not done yet. There's still the E. Am I going to do the whole thing for you guys? All right. I sped it up. Good. Um, how are you guys? I don't really know what to comment on this part of the video so tell me about your yourselves it's been almost a month since we've been outside hopefully you guys have been drawing a lot and being productive you know spend a lot of time in that sketchbook filling it up that's always good all right can you please finish matthew okay good um at this point in the drawing i really like the red at the top and then the bottom was looking a little crusty just like a little empty you know it needed a little something 
So this part I kind of also forgot to record, so you're going to see a clip from my TikTok. Well, there it is. But basically I added some red blobs at the bottom, like little wiggles, and then I it was done. So there's my dog, Churro. That's my drawing. Um, it took like a couple hours. I had fun with it, though. There's my dog again. I'm sorry, like, some of these clips, like, this was a mess, but I hope you liked it. Um, hopefully you had fun. This was like 10 minutes and 10 seconds we could spend together. Uh, my name is Matthew Sorgi. Hopefully you like this. You can follow me on Instagram. You can follow me on YouTube. You can subscribe, whatever you want to do. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being my friend. Goodbye.